YouTube family, welcome back, Lashers. Um, as you can see, I got a Sunfish King shirt on. Y'all go check out Sunfish King. I'm gonna see if his shirt will bring me some luck today out here at the pond. I'm gonna be throwing a. Um, it's kind of like a crawl color, half ounce red eye shad. That's what I'm throwing today. I bought two of them in case I lost one. I'm gonna be throwing that on my Shimano Corrado DC. It's a eight one to one gear ratio, so it's a high gear speed. We'll see if the fish can keep up with the bait. All right, y'all, let's get to it. I will see you here in a little bit after I get you pulling the chest mount. All right, there's the bait tied on. There's the Corrado. Um, DC, I did tie it on to my favorite big sexy rod. It is a 7.3, extra heavy. It does half ounce to two ounce lures. Line is 14 to 30 pound. It does have a fast action tip. Hopefully the wind's not too bad in this video. I'm just gonna be casting offshore and reeling in. See if I can't get on a fish or two. Maybe we can find a school. I got grass on it. Whew. About made it to the trees over there. It's real cast half a mile out with this half ounce lure and this wind. Got a boat. Couldn't tell if that was grass, the bottom, or fish. I plan to fish until either my camera dies or it gets dark, one or the other. Or Coastal calls me and tells me to go home. Oh, fish. Ah. Staying down though. Oh, there he is. Come up. Oh, I still got it. Oh, he just got off. <coughs> I backed off for a second because I thought I lost him. And then I did lose him. We'll get one on the bank here in a second. That's one I won't stop on. Sorry about that. I did catch two before I turned the camera on earlier.
why not? Let's stay in the Ant Hill Mat. grass on it and it ain't swimming right grass kind of figured that much I gotta be very cautious how I throw back this way there's a couple of big lay downs off of this bank line so I can't throw down the bank and if I ain't careful throwing across, I'll hit the trees on the other side. I really don't want to lose this bait. if we can't find us a fish here and not grass Right here is that big lay down. You can't see it right now, but I know it's here. It's almost always a fish off of this lay down. So I wouldn't be surprised if I, if I don't hook the lay down, I'll hook a fish, hopefully. If I don't have grass on it. Has some grass on it. This pond is loaded with grass this year. All I keep getting is grass, grass, and more grass. Sheesh. Bait's not even getting down that low. Fish. I hooked him right out of the water. Oh, he got off. Dang it. That's two I've lost. Guess maybe I'm trying to horse them in too much. grass on it nice little opening there right here
Jesus. Can't fish for grass. back towards the truck there's a turtle out there oh, there's a fish right there this one's coming in up over the bushes. There we go. <coughs> Easy, buddy. Got both hooks out. He had two out of three treble hooks in him. I did get a new scale. Not exactly the one I wanted. It is set to pounds. It's on zero. Hopefully y'all can see the zeros. Let's see. Get that put in there. It didn't. Didn't exactly stay. One pound seven ounces was what it locked on at. There you go. <coughs> so one pound seven ounces. Wow, I backlashed. Go figure. Backlash, backlash the reel. Worst thing is I backlash the DC reel. Ow, I got into a fire ant. Sure, that's grass. I don't think that would be a fish. No, that's grass. <clears throat> this is what happens when the lure gets to the bottom out here. This pond is flat full of grass. Probably a foot to two foot off the bottom all the way across. Come on. Don't 
track towards that way down. Too much. Try to stay away from it. That lay down there goes out about 20 or 30 foot from shore. I've lost a mini allure on it too. Whether catching a fish and it goes up under it or just reeling down the shoreline and I hit it and get hung up. Not hot, but it is humid. This thing is casting a mile out there. Imagine if I was out there on that peninsula casting out this way, I'd be casting way farther. Casting with that wind. Instead of into it. I do have the jackhammer tied onto my SLX DC. Oh, there's a fish right there. Where is he? Did you get it? Yep. Sick eat. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get him, but hey. Y'all got to see him jump up out of the water right there at the very end. He, I stuck it back down there and he got it, but he jumped and threw it right off. He chased it all the way to shore. That means I was reeling too fast, probably. He was fired up. There's a big old turtle right there, just off the shoreline. I'm gonna take my glasses off so I can white sweat out of my eyes. I really need a sweat rag out here. grass on it it's not swimming right to save its life and there's grass up around the line A whole school of what might be this year's fry right here in front of me. I don't know if they're catfish or bass. Uh, I missed. Or did I? Yep, I missed. Get 
right back out there, see if he'll come back. Had one hit, but I missed him. Immediately upon it hitting the water, I had a fish. That was a good eat. He's still coming. He's little. It might be three quarters of a pound. Maybe. I'm guessing half to three quarters of a pound on this one. You can see it's on zeros. Half a pound. Actually, 0.51, so literally half a pound. He hit so fast, I threw it right back out there to see if there was another one. The wind caught it that time. There's a fish. That's a good one. Stay down, baby. That one's gonna be about a pound, pound and a half. I don't even have them hooked that good. down like that there you go nice fish there you can see it's on zeros one pound 1.12 so Just over a pound. Maybe a pound and 
three ounces, something like that. One pound, 1.12 ounces, so just over a pound. So that's... Hey, one and a half, 1.2, and a seven. Now, point seven, so... <clears throat> three fish about three pounds There's another one same hole he might be half a pound. This is about, whoa, dropped him. Where'd you go, buddy? Now I got to go down in there and find him. Watch out, snakies. <clears throat> okay, where did he go? There he is. Way down in here. But he would not make it back to the water from that spot. <clears throat> I think he's gonna be like a quarter pounder with cheese, maybe. Yep. 0.35 ounces. So yeah, like a quarter pounder with cheese. <coughs> well, I'm catching fish. They just ain't very big. That's four. And all four of them might equal three pounds together. I know this wind's probably bad for y'all right now. Boom, right in my face. That cast went sky high on me. Going through a good strike zone there, you know.
How hard to cast with the way this wind is and these bushes are. Fish! He hit before I got the slack out of the line. Whew, good thing you're hooked good. Another pounder. Maybe a pound and a, maybe a pound and a quarter. Oh, you're a hot boy. You are a hot fish. He might be a pound and a quarter. Because he's a little chubby one. Again, you see the zeros. See if I can't get this up in his mouth. Hey, buddy, no, 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 no. Oh well. That's one way to release him. He don't realize he's in the water yet. There he goes. <laughs> I saw 1.7, so we'll pretty much go one pound. So four pounds for five fish. <coughs> That fish didn't realize he had made it back in the water before he took off. <laughs> he laid there for a second. I guess it tells you how far down it is. It's about a five or, I'd say it's about four and a half, five foot down. And this pond in 2019, Used to be all the way up to the very top of this hill. So we, in the last three years, we've lost four to five foot out of this pond of water. <coughs> Mainly due to drought conditions in Eastern North Carolina. This is another pound. This one here might be another one pound or close to it. here as always zeros oh. 
zeros, pull it up. 0.96. Might as well say a pound. Four one hundredths of an ounce under. <clears throat> Alright, backlashes. I moved up here by the front gate area. There's the old white faithful truck. Um, I'm going to cast some on both sides of this peninsula here. This right side over here is very grassy, so I'm not very confident I'll catch anything over there, but we'll see. There's a fish first cast after I got out of the truck. He's being acrobatic out there. And he got off. <coughs> what can you do? Can't keep them all down. Alright. What did that booger do? Just like that. Around here. Oh, the hook is stuck in the eye of the bait. Interesting. I don't really feel any phrase on the line yet. I want to say this is 14 or 15 pound fluoro. That's what I want to say. is hot out here. Ugh. Get out of there. Stupid bait. <clears throat> I've come to a conclusion. Sunfish King. Your shirt is very lucky, sir. Probably more so than the backlash shirts. If y'all don't have Sunfish King, please pick up Sunfish King. Link will be in the description. Um, he does have merchandise. I'm sure he can get you to his merchandise store. Pretty short sure linked on his page, but anyways, definitely help out my buddy Sunfish King. see is that one gonna bite nope had a fish come up right behind it he's still right there he was still right there but i can't get down there because of the bushes to hook up with him the fish that is <coughs> Uh, did I get him? Yep, I did. That was an awkward hook to set his all get out. I ain't so sure he ain't off. No, he's still there. He's just that little. This little bass is about the size of a sunfish. <sighs> well, he grew a little bit. He might be a little bigger than a sunfish. He might be three eighths of a pound. Here, an osprey or a hawk back here behind me.
Hang on, about casting my own line off of the reel. I want to try over here a little bit. I highly doubt I'll catch anything other than grass. And let's prove myself wrong right off the bat on the first cast with the smallest micro sized bass I could actually catch. Bass on the left hand bait hanging out the right. I don't even think I could call him a quarter pounder. I don't know if he would even, I should have tried to put him on the scale to see if it would even measure a fish being on there. That gum a booger bear, that was a small fish. I must have cast it into the estuary. <coughs> There's a fish. He's about half a pound. All right, these fish are proving me wrong. I can catch fish over here. Ooh. I got extremely lucky. I hit my finger good enough, I'm surprised it didn't draw blood. I have no idea how many fish I've caught so far. I have lost count. <coughs> I guess that's a good thing. I've caught so many fish this afternoon in the couple hours I've been fishing, I've lost count. Let me see. I'm almost certain I have Sunfish King on Instagram. Oh, my phone's in the truck. Oh well. I'll get with them here in a little bit. Really? You're going to knock it out of water, but you're not going to grab it. Thank you. Almost losing. I'm almost casting all the line off of my reel over here. 
can't remember if this is 12 or 15 pound test but pretty sure it was fluoro and it's holding up really good I literally do not feel a single fray in this line with how many fish I've caught into the wind almost cast it too hard I hope I'm far enough out to be down to break yep I was oh got a fighter or do I ah, it's a fighter he's a good one Ow. He tried to get me. He tried to backlash me. Hey, buddy. I just want to put my thumb in your mouth. Tear it out, all zeros. Ah, I hit the wrong button. All zeros. Drop the fish. One pound, three hundredths of an ounce. One pound. Going average today. One pound. <coughs> I have no meat. I don't know how many pounds of fish I've caught out here today. But this is definitely going to be a premiere. <laughs> I still got an hour or so of daylight left. Fish! Every single cast and he's so little it ain't even funny. You should be on the other side little dude in the shallower water. Yeah, out there playing with the big boys that will probably eat you. There are fish big enough out here to eat that fish, but I have not been able to catch them lately. I think I'm gonna make five more casts. I'm getting kind of thirsty and hungry. And I didn't bring anything to eat or drink with me. So I'm gonna throw it out here again. Said so hopefully I'm far enough off of this break off or drop off. Nope. All right. That's just too hard of an area to cast around. I'm going to walk down here to the point <coughs> and cast around it some, and then I'll be done. I just I can't not go to the boat ramp before I leave. But. The owner, kids and grandkids can put their boats in out here. Unfortunately, I have not been given permission to be able to do that yet. I'm hoping I can one day soon. Had that permission, that would be a game changer. Okay. All right, down the outside this lay down. Hope this thing 
tracks like it's supposed to. It did till it got too to lay down, and it picked up grass. Nope. Nothing there. Okay, straight up then. A little bluegill right there, not far offshore. Or some fish. I need to go get me a pack of worms and come out here one day and get these bluegill fired up. That would be fun. <coughs> need to get Panda out here for that. Geese have been out here today, or since I was out here the other day, they have been. Before I go down there, I'm just going to cast around the point here. And the bait screwed up on me. Of course. Launch it across. I'm gonna do a few fan casts here and see if I can end on a fish. Pretty sure I can. Next fish ends the lot or ends the premiere. Next fish. And there he is, right there. He's staying down too. That's an acrobatic dude right here at the end. Nice. I ain't so sure that's not the biggest fish of the day right 